A VW Transporter is an extremely versatile van, but we don't all like the same things. And today I'm going to show you some absolutely incredible vans, things which you aren't used to seeing. But some people still do like the tried and tested, the popular varieties which we've been around for many, many years. The bespoke camper van is one of those in this range. And as you can see, this one being 59995, it is going to be a lot cheaper than some of the other ones which we'll look at. But some people say it's bland. Yes, it is crash tested. It's got a rib bed. It's got Victron components. It's got the really, really high spec components in it. But as like I say, some people do say it's bland. If you fall into that category of actually, yes, these are very good vans. Yes, they are very well priced, but I want something a bit more. My budget is actually more than what these vans are. I've got more money. I want to burn it. I want to spend it. So let's see what else we've got something a little bit different. Now, the first place which I'm going to be showing you is a company called Bowden's. And on the stand here, they've actually got four vehicles. Three of them are transporters. They're all slightly different. Now, this is one which you don't see very often. And this is a Sportline, a camper van being created on the Sportline base vehicle. And inside, yeah, it's got the rear bed. It's got different units, darker units. It's got leather seats in this one with it being the Sportline model. They've also got this one. So if you didn't like that spec, which we've been looking at, that kind of layout, you've got the Crantock. Now the Crantock is something which is seeming to become a little bit more popular. So this again is four people carrying seats and the pop top, as you can see, actually opens up in the opposite direction. So the, at the rear, this is where you have the kitchen and you've also got a toilet you've got the bridge etc but that isn't the main vehicle which i'm going to be showing you because this is something special and the owner of the business is really proud of this and he doesn't actually want to sell it it is his vehicle and as you can see straight away looking down here it's got different wheels now a lot of these conversions will have well they might have the the standard um vw wheels some of them will have massive 20 inch wheels but this has got a little bit different. This has got the off-road wheels sitting on some standard suspension, but it looks nice. And then as we get inside, it's got Napa leather. It's got a solid oak work surface and it's got the rib bed. So at the moment, it's all sounding pretty much the same, but it isn't because have a look at that. You don't often see in a lot of vehicles these days, the Wabasto diesel hub. It's just, just not very common. A lot of people obviously go for the gas. They have the underslung tanks and they go for the gas or they might have the gas bottle in the locker. So as well as the diesel hull, it's obviously got the diesel heater as well. So it's got the Wobasto diesel heater, but this is a vehicle which has been built to be effectively totally off grid. So it's got a Dometic electric fridge. It's got a microwave oven and under here, which powers all the electrics, which can be taken out at any point is the EcoFlow Delta Max 2. And that provides the van with all the power which it needs. On the top of the van, it's got the solar panel. So it's gonna make sure that that battery's kept topped up. And if you look over here, it's got the Savvy van panel. Now the Savvy van panel, I've got another video with that coming soon because this panel is cropping up on more and more vans. It's becoming more and more popular. Savvy Van 3 is coming out soon and it's got a lot of extremely good features, some things which are really quite exciting. It's got completely new hardware. It is a lot faster system. It's be able to actually control more functions. So we do watch out for this video because it is a really nice panel and definitely hoping to have it seen in a van soon. And this one has got the Remo uh, pop top roof and then it's got the pull out awning as well. Now, I mentioned, obviously, the, the, the wheels with it being suited for off-road. What I didn't actually say was it, this is the 204 horsepower four motion DSG. So it really is a really high spec. So obviously, for more money, you can obviously get a better spec. You, the 204 brake horsepower engine, you don't get that in the £60,000 van. You don't get four motion, which is becoming really, really popular. I don't mean popular, it's becoming really sought after because they're not really being made anymore. I don't think you can get them uh, in four motion anymore other than the California. Uh, a lot of people are trying to, to buy these, which is obviously pushing the prices up. 
So that is just another option which you could potentially have. And it is a van, which I really like. The fact that it is off-grid, totally gas-free, gas, gas free, it does offer something a little bit different to other things. Anyway, let's get on and go and have a look at something else. So that's the Bowden's van, vans, and I actually really quite like them. And now I'm going to show you in a little bit something over there, which might actually be my favourite. It's a really, really different. It's something which you definitely don't see a lot, but something else which there's a bit of a story about. Not too much of a story, but it's a company which has been going for a long time. It's a brand which you'll be well aware of. It's a brand which is known for its high quality products. It's also known for its high price tags, and that's EcoWagon. Yes, the price tags are high, but it's the quality of the products which they fit in there. Look at this, they have just won an award. So they've won the award for the Motorhome and Campervan Design Awards 2024 for a campervan over five meters long. And this is the EcoWagon Expo Plus, which as I said, I'm sure it's quite a lot of you have actually seen before. Now it's been built on the Transporter T6.1 on the long wheelbase platform, and it is a really high spec. Just from the outside, you can see it's got these absolutely beautiful wheels and it's sitting on VB Air suspension. Now, and that upgrade alone costs around £7,000. So instantly, that is not going to make this a cheap van. Then, looking up, you've got the Remo pop top. Now, this is the Remo electric pop top. It's got the two-lay pull-out awning and something special about this. And I think it's actually maybe the, the first one, maybe the only one in the country. And that's the two-lay Wonderway black bike carrier. And if you look at that, that's the bike carrier, which sits on the bike. And that matches this vehicle really well but it's got the two lay roof bars on the top and you're probably not going to be able to see it but it's got some hefty solar panel on the top of that as well to power it up so it might as well stay at the rear before going into there and you can see instantly that it's got the california bed which is on the rail system uh, it's got the wooden floor there and then over here on the left hand side it's got the inflator for the paddleboard a feature which is fantastic i really quite like that feature obviously living down at devon and cornwall a lot of us have our paddleboards out quite often and uh, having that on the van is extremely beneficial so coming inside you've got this beautifully stitched beautifully upgraded leather it's obviously a dsg as you would expect uh, for this kind of money it's got those shades in there. Look at this worktop. These worktops are beautiful. A slightly thinner wood, which to be quite honest with you, I quite like because it's, it, it just removes that bulk away from it. And it's got these carefully crafted units and the, these carefully crafted units have been made purposely so you can fit various different items in them. So the specifics which you're going to need, your pots, your pans, uh, etc. they're all in there. You've got your timbre door. Uh, which contains a, a quite a large storage because it is the long wheelbase you do get that extra storage then up above that you've got the control panel uh, to control the things such as your, your lights your water pumps such things as that and then over to the left we've got the Wabasto heating system controls so underneath that we've got the Alpine uh, stereo controller because this is a really high spec van it's got the uh, subwoofer in there it's got the upgraded speakers so the sound quality in this van is fantastic. Uh, to power all that, it's got two 230 amp hour lithium ion batteries. It's got a three kilowatt inverter, so it can be powering your, your bigger items. It's got an induction hob, which obviously makes use of those uh, lithium ion batteries. And then it's obviously got a sink as well. And then, like I've said, it's got the California seatbed on rails. So it's got a lot of very, very high quality products in here. And it also sits, as far as the front seats are concerned, not obviously only are they leather, they've got the sports, the extra bolsters in there, but they've also got the factory swivel bases as well, which as far as I'm concerned, what I've seen are definitely the best swivel seats to have. So this, as far as being an extremely high priced vehicle, the body styling alone is another few thousand pounds. The wheels, again, several thousand pounds. The air suspension, as I've mentioned, the electric Remo popped up roof. So you can't argue about the value in this vehicle. A lot of value has been added with the high quality components which have been used, but it does cost 140,000 pounds. So as far as your budget's concerned, 
you can have an award-winning van, a fantastic, amazing award-winning van. You might have seen the previous blue one. Well, this one is very similar. Yes, prices have gone up because the prices of base vehicles have gone up also with the price of components. But there's a lot of spec in this van, a lot of spec. It is a really nice van, but maybe your budget is higher than the 60,000, but it's not quite 140. So what else have we got? Well, let's go and have a look at another company, which again, is having the first show this year and they brought some really good quality products. Let's get down there and have a look. So the next one, and this is actually a company which I've been seeing quite a lot on Facebook, and that's Knights Customs. And they produced really high end, really high quality conversions. No, they're not NCC, but they do work with another company who is NCC approved and they build their vehicles to that same level of quality. And I did actually check out a few of the points which some converters don't actually do just to see if they did it and they did do it. These are built really, really well. And this is actually one of my favorite vans. As you'll see, this isn't completely dropped to the floor with massive body kits, but actually that's a little bit foolier because it's sitting on VBR suspension. Now from the front, it's not got the body kit, but you could quite easily add that if you want. On the side, it's got the trapezoid uh, sidebars, which I actually do like the, the um, shape of the trapezoid sidebars. And if you look up above, again, this one has got the Remo pop top, very popular for a reason, Remo pop top roof. It is a really high quality pop top roof. So going inside and look at this, this is truly beautiful. The bed is on rails again, which is something which I really do like, but this is the Remo Variotech and it slides all the way forward and all the way back. And it's got kitchen units all the way along the side and each of these units again like i've mentioned with the eco wagon is specifically designed and specifically made for various different items items which you need in your camper van above the top it's also got some more units and this is not void of any regulation because as far as the hub's concerned it is an electric induction hub and the way it gets its power is by the Clayton power bank. This has got Clayton power. So it has got a massive capacity power, which is backed up by solar panels on the roof. It is another totally off-grid camper van. And it, this one, it, it is just absolutely beautiful. It's got the BCA control panel, which shows the temperatures, the water levels, uh, your pumps, fridges, etc. You can see from that, it's extremely detailed and gives you all the vital information you want. The design on the splashback is just, it's just marvelous. And it's got the van shades blinds. Van shades, you might've heard me talk about those before. The blinds, they just, they just add something extra to the van. They just make it look a little bit extra special. And then coming along to the front seats. So these have got the additional bolsters and these, to be honest with you, I prefer them to the other ones. The bolstering on this are really nicely contoured, really nicely designed. And again, it's Napa leather. Power is obviously DSG, as you'd expect on a high, high quality vehicle such as this. And then that flooring, look at that flooring. Beautiful color floor, beautiful designs. And all in all, this is a magnificent van. I really like it. But coming around the back, it's got something special, which you don't see very often at all. And look at that. It's got a storage unit. So in the back of the bed, where it falls down, it's got this storage. So in here, you can be put in your, your clothes, you can be put in your duvets, you, you know, your soft items such as that, and then it keeps them out of the way. And then it means you've still got more storage around the bottom. And with this bed, which is currently in a position which you'd normally find, you know, the normal beds in a van, you've got still a lot of room. And again, more cupboards around here. It is a beautiful van. And as I've said, it has been really, really well made. So just before I finish on this one, look, at this roof. This roof is absolutely magnificent. Yes, we have seen similar kind of roofs, but we haven't seen anything like this before. I love, absolutely love this roof. When you're lying down on that lovely Remo bed at night, looking up at the stars, the fake ones, it's beautiful. So that really is a beautiful van. I really do like it. Again, I obviously forgot to mention that, yes, it is sound dead and it's insulated. A lot of these vans, have got that proper sound dead in, in insulation. And you can really see that when you're actually driving it with the road noise. I came up here, not in my van, but in a different van, and it hadn't been sound deadened and insulated. That was actually a really expensive van, a combi converted van. And no, the road noise of it wasn't very great. 
but when they're insulated and sound deadened, that noise is far better. But anyway, now moving on to what I think might be my favorite van. I'm not necessarily saying that it's better than any of these other vans which we've seen, because they all are a little bit different. Every single one has got features which might benefit you, which you might like, but others might not. So let's go and have a look and see how special this van really is. So here we are at Dirty Weekender. And yeah, on the stand, they've actually got two crafters as well, because they're building very individual vehicles. Now this vehicle, which I'm going to show you, is a Transporter T6.1. It is a customer's vehicle. It's a vehicle which they have built for the customer, which actually the customer has not seen yet. And this really is something special. Let's take a look. So this van is built on the T6.1 platform. It's the 150 DSG Highline, and it's got the standard VW wheels. There's nothing special there. It's not got a massive body kit, but it does have the VB self-leveling suspension, the uh, suspension, which we've seen again in the other ones. Going up top, it's got the Remo pop top. This one isn't the electric one, but not everybody wants the electric pop top. It's got the two lay awning. And then on the top pop top, it's got a solar panel because this vehicle has been built for being off grid. It's got large capacity, batteries and electrics. But oh my word, look at this interior. The leather on this is Napa leather. As you can see there, it's got the DSG gearbox, but look at this leather. This is beautiful. And then on the side, something you don't see very, very often. Yes, this isn't a traveling seat, but this does pull out into a bed. The section here pulls out and you can actually have a bed at the bottom. So it could essentially seat four people because there is a bed up top in the Remo pop top. I like those purple lights. It's got a pull out drawer underneath. This drawer here pulls out, better not pull it because the ropes are crossed and the person's not around, but that I was shown yesterday and it pulls out to be a large capacity drawer. Under this side here, where you would normally get storage as well. Now this has been taken up by a heating system because it's actually got a hot water heating system because the people who bought this van, the people who spec this van, they're actually gonna be using it as a van is meant to be used. They are gonna be going on long, long road trips. So they'd be needing that hot water. And that big, great big unit there is not a unit. That is a massive capacity fridge. That's the sort of fridge which you would find in a motorhome or a caravan. And yeah, it's in a long wheelbase transporter. But look at this sink. Now this sink is something special. Now this sink is a copper sink and it was specially purchased for this van. And you might be thinking, well, where on earth has all this come from? Because I don't see this when I'm going looking at other converters. And that's because Dirty Weekender sit down with you and you actually go through a process of designing your van exactly how you want it. The seating cushions on this and the material that has been used, the leather seats, obviously you don't see that blue very, very often, the copper sink, the solid oak surfaces, the, the units, it's all been designed specifically for this customer in conjunction with them talking about what they're gonna be needing it for, what they're gonna be using the van for. Let's go around the back and I'll tell you about that special cupboard. So look at the design work on this. It really is something absolutely special. It's something which you probably won't have seen before or certainly won't see very often on a van. You've got some more storage under the kitchen units here. Uh, you've got a gas hob. It's got an underslung tank on there. It's got the underslung water tank and it's got some storage above the top. Um, as you can see there, it's got the LPG uh, so you know exactly how much you've got left. But as far as these cupboards are concerned, these cupboards were designed specifically to a specific size because the customer has got rucksacks. They do a lot of outdoor activities, like a lot of us do with camper vans. I think there was some statistics somebody said the other day, like 97% of people who've got camper vans or motorhomes enjoy some part of outdoor activity. So whether that be surfing, whether it be walking, whether it be mountain biking, kayaking, paddleboarding, 97% of us, which really kind of goes hand in hand. And the cupboards have been designed exactly to the right size of what their rucksacks are. I think that's just brilliant. So they've obviously got a tow bar on the back, so they're able to uh, attach bike racks, or I don't actually know what they're gonna attach on there, but it is very, very well thought of. It's got a window 
at the back, an opening window, as you can see there, uh, on struts. Again, not something which you see on many vans, specifically designed for this van. And no, they're not going to be using the tow bar for a bike rack because they've got a bike rack on the roof. So what do you think of that then? Think it's something special? It is, isn't it? You do not see that very often. Very, very rarely do you see something like that. It has been built exactly to what the customer liked. I love it. I genuinely, absolutely love that van. I love the colour of the leather. Does it match my brand colour? Actually, I think it might do, but that's not why I like it. It does look really good. And then as far as the actual cushions are concerned, the blue isn't the same, but it mixes really, really well. I think teal, is it teal and orange? It just fits so, so well. And that design which they've got on those units is just phenomenal. Maybe it isn't for you, but I genuinely, genuinely love that. Maybe it's the award-winning £140,000 eco wagon you want, or maybe the Knight's Customs, which is, I think, 90-something thousand pounds, or maybe the completely, totally off-grid Bowdens. They all offer very, very different things, different options for different people, because we're not all the same. We all like different things, and we've all got massively different budgets. Maybe it's the bespoke, maybe it's a... £60,000 van, that is the only budget which you've got for a, a nice, well-built van. Or you do have a bit more and you can spend an extra bit of money for a nice, well-built van with lots of different options. It's entirely up to you. Let me know what you think about these vans. Anyway, do stay tuned for some more videos from the show. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.